Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, Friday the 22nd of December 2023. The Christmas preparations are going well. It's Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Market, to lead you around what's happening as we move through the Asian session today. Let's just have a look at the headlines. Of course, US markets bounce back after the previous day's drop to return to buying with four to one advances versus decliners. This was despite weaker GDP and manufacturing data. It was possibly the Q1Q PCE data, which of course is one of the Fed's favorite inflation measures, which was soft, suggesting falling inflationary pressures. With the more important year on year data tonight, if tonight's figure is replicated, you'll see more buying coming into markets, I would suggest. We're heading for the eighth week of gains as a potential on the Dow. It'll be interesting to see if we do that, as well as move to record highs on the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq to join the Dow in that state. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading and Asian markets are cautiously following that US lead with the ASX up around 0.2% in early trading. European futures are also pointing to a higher open this afternoon. The US dollar index didn't do well last night and dropped back to mid-July levels. And as a result, of course, gold did well. It breached 2040 and is actually now testing 2050 interesting to see if we test all-time highs around 2075 that were hit last week copper also was a beneficiary hitting five-month highs and may i four dollars that's a really important key psychological level for markets and oil sits in a short-term range under 75 dollars a barrel on the wti cfd contract bitcoin was higher also may re retest 45,000. And if we look at the data today, obviously, we've already referenced the year-on-year -year PCE data being the headline. We've already had Japanese CPI out, which was softer than last month. This afternoon, we've got retail sales numbers and GDP coming out of the UK. And then later on, US consumer sentiment and durable goods also due. So a really busy day today, considering it's the last day of trading before the holidays. Let's have a look at some charts at Core RI today. LYC look interesting, Linus Rare Earths. And you can see we are off the highs of the session, but we still are holding above the 200 MA. I'd suggest this level, which would be the closing high really since September, would be an interesting level to keep an eye on at 716. You can see we tested that early in the trading session. So we'd want to see it move above that. And if it does, then the next port of call is this 753 level. That will be a very healthy 4.5% return. And it looks as though there is some buying pressure coming back if we just take it out a little bit. So maybe in the medium term, we move up to around about this 785 level once again. The fixed markets are pretty flat, but we are noticing some interesting price action on the or the yen. We're trading in a very tight range, as we did most of yesterday. From top to bottom, this is no more than around about 30 pips. And these two levels are really worth keeping an eye on. Around 96.40 to the downside, which would be the S1 pivot. You can see how many times that was tested yesterday. And to the upside, perhaps this 96.75 level. I think the better trade will probably be to the downside uh, where there could be 40 to 50 pips at least in the offering. To the upside, I think we might get stuck around uh, 97, so around about 25 pips. But certainly, either way, this could be interesting. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.